So I'm going on the road today. Um, Got to go buy some parts for the mechanic and then I'm going to drop them off at the mechanic. So I'm going to bring you along with me to get the parts. Go to the mechanic if <laughs> rambling. Um, it's been a while since I've done this. So trying to get back in the groove. Um, I really wanted to find somewhere to bring you guys today. So I'll try to do that as well. Uh, but this is just saying welcome to the vlog and I'm going to see you in the next clip. Bossy. Bossy, Godfather, man a OG, man a half humble, man a Bossy. Bring a rag a rhythm like it's all free. Bossy, house on the coast, G. My money so long it doesn't know me. It's looking at my kids like I'm Bossy. Alrighty guys, so I'm here. A lot of people are here as well. Um, I'm gonna get the parts. I'm at Hagley Park Road, so they were late. Um, I'm going to see how much they cost. I think I'll share with you guys how much the parts cost. Um, yeah, so this is where we are. And another thing, I don't think I got to tell you guys what was wrong with the vehicle, but basically, we're having some transmission. Oh, I'm this here. Having some transmission problems. Um, so they're going to rebuild the transmission instead of buying a new transmission so it'll be a bit more cost effective for us. We we're also looking for used transmissions but they couldn't find anyone that was like sufficient enough because mommy was worried that if we did buy a used one next thing you know down the line we'll have some more problems and we'll have to figure out why. So better we just rebuild ours. Um, yeah. This is one of my favorite dresses. I think I got it from Macy's. I don't know. Or my mom. I think I got it from my mom. Um, makes me look fake. <laughs> Definitely gonna wash the car today because this is not cute. This is not hot girl material. Um, and then get my brake pads. Brake pads change. I would change them myself, but I got the tools. <laughs> Because I've watched them change it so many times. This car is about to go off. That kill switch be like. Um, yeah. I'm just trying to make sure I get enough content. Um, this is where I'm at. If you guys want to know. I'm not going to hold it against anybody. City Auto Transmission. So I'll let you know. Um, the price. And the quality. And then yeah. ready so um we got the receipt i'm gonna tell you exactly how much things cost but you have to keep in mind that it might be different for you um depending on when you go who you know all this extra stuff and what you need um and your vehicle because this this stuff you might need these exact same things but for a different vehicle so it might be cheaper it might be more expensive um but we got the complete um forward drum forward jump yeah forward jump um that was thirty four thousand dollars um because it had everything i think he said it had the piston and it had all these extra parts so it was the whole entire piece so that's why it was so much um and then i got the reverse clutch which were the circle things it came in a set of three and it was three thousand yeah, three thousand dollars for the whole thing but he ended up giving me a discount so my bill came to forty two thousand five hundred and fifty dollars after taxes um yeah so and they take card what if i do i feel like oh, i want a spider in here because i said spider web right here so um they take cards they take debits i'm not sure if they take credit but they, they take debit and i think they take cash so yeah that was the bill the mechanic now his um his fee to do the work is thirty thousand because he is building a whole new transmission so yeah gotta be that's what that is right now what i'm about to do is head to 
the next mechanic, the one that actually looks at the vehicle, um, cause the taxis are about to get serviced. Um, and then I might have to go to Bert's. While I'm there, I'm gonna have him just change my brake pads while he's at it. And yeah. I might also have him change the oil because I think I need oil. Um, the oil need to change. And uh, I can't remember what else I have planned, but yeah. By the way, this is what I'm staring at. We're on Hagley Park Road. Um, I'm in the turning lane and the turning lane on these type of busy roads is like the worst because a lot of people make U-turns right here. So then that hold up your turning. And then sometimes the light only green for like two seconds when it's on the arrow. Um, yeah, so, but hopefully, hopefully I can dip out at the green light because there's only three cars in front of me. Look at that big cement truck. Anyway, so may I say? So here we are at the mechanic. He's about to change some brake pads. He just loosened up the bolts for the, the front wheels. Um, and this is what the brake pads look like, guys. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Ready? So we're back on the road. We're back on the road. Road march. We're back. <laughs> I don't know when I'll ever say those words again. Um, but. I'm gonna go to Burt's. I'm gonna go to Burt's on my lines. So I'm gonna go up the road, I think. I'm just gonna go down here. I'm gonna go to Hagley Park one. Um, and uh, I'm also, I think I'm gonna try to stop by, oopsies, stop by Sean's really quickly to get park lights for this car. So that's also on the way. But when I'm done with that, we're gonna go to the mechanic. He's gonna service the vehicle. Um, I think I'm gonna tell you how much it is to service a taxi in Jamaica. So look out for the prices in the next five minutes. Uh, another thing, so remember it's two vehicles we're working on. The transmission is for the brown vehicle. We're gonna service the white vehicle. I'm gonna go straight home. No, after this, I'm gonna find. I'm gonna try to find a good spot to go to, not like Starbucks or my usual places. But I'm gonna try to. I'm not gonna stop by the beach because we're going to the beach tomorrow. Watch your bike, come on. Um, we're just going to. I'm gonna try to find somewhere. Kingston and Saint Catherine is so limited with the amount of rivers and beaches. Um. But yeah, we're going we're gonna to try to work out a thing. Maybe I can find a cool little in the bush spot. It's so busy today. Today is Saturday, by the way, guys. Stay tuned for my video coming up um, on Tuesday. And I would greatly appreciate it, guys, if you check out the link in that video on Tuesday for Skillshare. Um, it means a lot to me if you guys would um, try out Skillshare, try the trial. I'm not being paid for this part, but um, whenever you do see Skillshare in my video, like the advertisement, it is um, it is it isn't an ad, and it's one of my first big ads, so I'm very proud, and it would mean a lot to me if you guys do check out the link and uh, um, you know get a trial because it really helps me out, especially for my future endeavors. All right, so let's stop in Sean's real quick. I don't want to get anybody's face. So. I'm waiting for him to go get a park. Um, I got a park light. It's a very small light. Um, but I need it, so. Will you put people in here today? So what's the, what's the difference between the quality? Because this looks cheap. This looks. I'm just saying this looks cheap. Yes. Like, what's the lifespan with this? Yeah. 
Mm. And this same part is what? You sure of it? So this side. How much is this? This one is mine. Thank you. Right, so one thing's check. We got our um, park lights in. It's working. Um, come about him up and tell him to listen. I can put another car in now, and if it now work, now come back. <laughs> so he ended up come outside. Um, I didn't need help, but he ended up came, um come outside and assist me. But line black up for leave, and it's one way in, one way out. Um, so I'm going to go down and go back up to birds. So that was very quick. It was very cheap, and the park light was two hundred and fifty dollars. Um, one leave though, not lie. Getting the parts now. Kind of what it's looking like. Hey, people, we're back again. Back on the road. <laughs> um, this time, yeah, I walk foot. Um, I'm gonna go buy some chicken. If you guys remember from previous vlogs, when I come to the mechanic. I buy this fried chicken and their fried chicken is so beautiful and it tastes real good. I think I'm going to get fries. Last time I got rice. Um, they almost finished servicing the vehicle and once they're done, I'm kind of set for the day with the mechanics. And uh, yeah. So the only thing I'm going to have to do is drop off the stuff to the other mechanic and then we're good. And then everything else is in his hands. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys about the cost when I get back in the car for the parts that I bought at Burt's. But for now, I'm really hungry. Where the? Oh my God, they're closed. That's a catastrophe. Guys, it closed. She said they're cleaning. They're cleaning today, so. I'm right and I'm hungry now. All right, I'm gonna go back in the car, get some AC, and then um, talk to y'all about the prices. The sun was facing this way, so now it's better for y'all to see me. Walking. Yeah, boy, Jamaica sun is hot. I can feel it from my skin. Like my skin feels hot. Like I don't even have to touch my skin for it to feel hot, it just feels hot. <laughs> if that make any sense to you. But the inside of this vehicle is not beautiful. It's clean and nice. Let me show y'all. Inside I have to lift up the pump. I have to change the pump, the filter. Uh, taxi. All right. So, what is it like being a driver in Jamaica? I, it, the work is so complicated to be a driver. To, but I like the service. I like the service. So, what do you think about the conditions of the road? You think the government can do better? Yes, the government can do better. Mm -hmm. And the government can put in things in place. In place. All right, then. Next question. How? What is it like when I always get hassled by police and by transport authority? Do you think it's uncalled for, or you think them just do them job? They just do them job, you know, but sometimes it's uncalled for. Sometimes uncalled for. All right, and then next question. What about when you get passengers? When you get some bad passengers? Can you describe any experience you have? Okay, alright, here in life now, you can have bad passengers and good passengers. Uh-huh. And thing, and thing, but... You How know, you handle it? Yeah, you know, we just, we, we just hang it, we just have to take it as it comes. Yeah. And next question, do you like... How, how is the relationship? Don't even mind to me there, you know, but how is the relationship with the, the, the owner of the vehicle and the driver of the vehicle? Alright, it good so far. It good so far. It good so far. You have anything else you want to share with the people them that might not know 
anything about taxis in Jamaica? Okay, and there are in taxi in Jamaica, you have to go for the people who you know to take the car. You can take a strange car where you don't know. Mm -hmm. You have to stick to the evil you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. Anything else? Okay, and. Just share, we whatever need, you want to share. The government need to, to do better and give us some better road. Better road, yeah. Yeah, like on Spanish Town Road. Yeah, Spanish Town Road is very yeah, terrible and right now. There are some deep atolls. And even and if you're going to Pitchum Street, at the most part there, so you have four, four patrols, deep patrols there. The government, even in the, in the, the heart of town, mm -hmm. you have so many big patrols around the park. Mm -hmm. And the government there is there is the government so slack there. So slack. Next yeah. question to um just come up in my mind. Um what is it like? Because I know I've saw a message where they talk about the loaders, people them who load a taxi in a half a tree or whatever gas station you're in. And um how how does it go when you guys park in the gas stations? Oh really? Alright. What that system I, I like? Not, I, we don't park in the gas station no at the moment, there, yeah, but we park at the side at a, a big tree big tree so you're talking for the people them that take the town and do any park yeah, and town, park. half a tree yeah and yeah we, mm -hmm. i don't want to we get we get us by police and transport there mm -hmm. and there and thing but there is a survival there survival mm -hmm. yeah what about the relationship with the loaders when the people them you have anybody load your taxi or you load oh, it? No, I no, no people don't load my taxi, you know. Mm -hmm. I can, I am I one of the the people that will be knowing. Okay. Understand. I right, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Bop 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 bop. We finish. I think they have a little problem. Um maybe the he was just about to leave out one little issue I go on. But they might handle it. Um, so I'm very hungry and very thirsty. Um, I've been drinking more water. I'm gonna turn the camera. Don't mind my edges. Um, there's nothing to mind about my edges. My natural hair is beautiful. Um, I've been drinking more water. So the fine bumps that I had before, they're going away. Um, I'm just sweating because it's real hot. But let me go out in the light. I don't think you can. The front facing camera is like not the best. But I had a lot of fine bumps that were coming up. And I realized that happened because I wasn't drinking enough water. Because I was keeping my same face routine. Like same soap. I've been using Cetaphil for like almost 20 years now. Um, I highly recommend Cetaphil. Amazing. Like even my cousins are using it now because it's it's so good. In Jamaica, it's very expensive though. For like some small bottle, will charge you will leap. So I get mine in bulk, then bring it down. Um, beside the fact, um, <laughs> I forgot what I was talking about. I hate when I do this. I hate when I do. You guys do this too. When I just zone out sometimes. Woo! Very hot though. I would turn on the AC, but I'm not easing myself. Oh god, I walk on now. Oh man. Just when I thought we were leaving. Alright, so the driver just said he was gonna adjust the handbrake. So I'm about to stop by Junior and Glenn, and then I'm gonna go get something to eat and drink and then go to Spanish Town because the mechanic for these parts is in Spanish Town so nobody is there that I was going to go visit none of them are there um, about to call Chad see if I'm all link up and then I'll check back in with you guys I really look like the struggle licked me down don't even understand but yeah So I'm genuinely really hungry. Um, I'm taking another way into Spanish Town. Uh, also, I'm going to ask somebody, cause there's a Zozo by the, the way that I take, uh, a police checkpoint or soldier checkpoint. Um, 
so I'm going to ask one of the soldiers if they stop me which part we can buy some food in the area because I'm hungry. So boom, don't be afraid to ask for help. I asked the soldier um at one of the checkpoints and him never know Jack Squat. Him said not to his knowledge. Him looked like one new one anyways. Um I did see two people walking and I ended up asking them and she was so helpful. So I just asked her for her help and yeah. She explained it to me and now me I walk me I drive and as I drive down we just ask people make sure I'm going in the right way, you know? Oh see there are Cecil's. This is where they recommend me to go. That's so funny. Let me take a picture of this and get them number real quick. I'll be right back. So just so you guys don't forget, I'm gonna read y'all the second bill. Um, this is when you're servicing a taxi. So I had to get the air filter, which was $365. Got an oil filter. Let me turn this down because I'm not sure how low this is. Let me just turn it off. Oil filter kit. Um, yeah, that was 1900 the engine oil was $1,470 and actually the engine oil um it was $1,470 each and I had to get five um so after tax well not after taxes but it added up to $7,350 uh and then I had to get a gas filter and that's very expensive um that was 7650 so this bill came up to seventeen thousand eight hundred and sixty nine dollars and that's just to get your vehicle service so that's for everything and then the um the mechanic charged how much did he charge he charged five thousand dollars to service the taxi um because he had to do the air fil the gas filter the gas filter is really what brought it up to five thousand dollars um but everything else he normally charged around three thousand um and then he changed my brake pads which i believe were five thousand or three thousand four thousand dollars um and he charged one thousand dollars to change those so i'm hot so i'm about to turn this ac back on i wasn't sure if you could hear it the first time but like a blast of some cool air in this year no and um my phone is charging I'm about to watch a movie and give it another 15 minutes and go in and collect my food so <laughs> I'm in the parking lot by the way I found the place so one thing about me I'm gonna find the place I'm gonna find it I take directions really well I take it really well anyways peace out Oh, and I 